Herb Zero was, was, was and is a good friend of mine. And uh, uh, Charlie Miller and I uh, went to a magician's convention in Buffalo in the late 50s. And uh, we were up on the mezzanine floor of the hotel where the convention was being held. And Herb Zero was demonstrating the Zero Shuffle on a coffee table up there. And Charlie got on the floor on his back and looked up through the coffee table, which was made of, the top was made of glass, and was able to see the, the Zero Shuffle being executed by Zero himself from underneath the table to find out what it really looked like under there. <laughs> I'll never forget Charlie going, mm -hmm, mm. <laughs> and he thought it was pretty good, but, but uh, Herb uh, is a great guy and, and an excellent magician. Okay, the, the zero shuffle is uh, misunderstood by uh, many magicians who attempt to do it and they uh, end up doing it wrong. But what has to be done when you're doing the zero shuffle is when you, when you have finished the shuffle and you've got uh, like a three card cover that you've dropped from the left thumb on top of uh, uh, a block of cards and you're going to try to make it appear as though you're squaring the entire thing. At, at that point, there's something that has to happen, and if it doesn't, you won't get a good result. Now, maybe you've noticed guys trying to do it, that it just looks like they shoved a bunch of cards in underneath something. Now, that's because they didn't understand what I'm about to talk about here. Here, I'm going to give you the secret. Here, here's what it is. Just at the point where you're about to put the whole thing back together, both hands must go in opposite circular directions. In other words, the left hand must go clockwise, and the right hand must go counterclockwise. And this results in the hands going into this kind of an action. And you're not pulling any cards out to reset them up underneath the, the uh, cover cards. What you're doing is you're getting this circular action, and as you get it, you will find, without moving anything backwards, the circular action will cause the cards underneath the cover cards to go into proper position and then you go together with the whole thing. In other words, you go, you go two circular directions, bam, and then push together. And when you do that, it will actually look like you shuffle the cards and push them together.